Do you ever wonder what you can do at home for self-care? In today's video, I'm gonna share 10 simple self-care ideas that you can do at home. Welcome. If you're new here, my name is Myrna Scales. I'm a cancer survivor's mom, and this channel is to support and encourage parents that have children with chronic illness and or special needs. There are so many benefits to practicing self-care regularly. My favorite benefit is that it reduces stress. If you think that you can't practice self-care at home, then you're wrong. Self-care can be super simple and still help you de-stress. Number one, read a book or listen to an audiobook. Super simple. Reading a book can help you relax. You can leave your stress-filled life for a moment and transport yourself into your story. I love reading a book before bed instead of watching TV or scrolling through my phone. Especially during the times that I feel very stressed, I tend to read a book before bed. And I feel like when I do read a book, I calm down and I have better restful sleep. Number two, take an Epsom salt bath. A hot bath with candles and calming music is already one of the most relaxing things you can do. But when you add Epsom salt to your bath, it can help you relax your tense muscles. When Epsom salt is dissolved into your bath water, it helps release magnesium, which helps to produce melatonin. Number three, give yourself permission to binge watch a show that you're obsessed with. Just like you can lose yourself in a good book, you can also de-stress when you watch a show that you love. Give your mind a break from all the worries and the stress that you have. When I need a break from stress, I tend to watch Hallmark movies, which help me feel light and uplifted. Number four, plan out an amazing vacation, even if you're not going on it. I love doing this. I allow myself to imagine how it would be to be in Greece or Italy. And I imagine being in these beautiful countries and eating authentic Greek and Italian food and being on the beach. I allow myself to go there. And for that moment, I'm not thinking about my stress or my worries. Number five. Declutter. I know this one might be weird. Myrna, I don't feel like cleaning when I'm stressed. I understand. I'm not telling you to declutter the whole house. Declutter the room in the house that you spend the most time in. Put on a podcast or listen to an audiobook and get rid of all the things that you don't use and that don't bring you any joy. I promise you that when you're done decluttering, you can sit in that space in peace and actually relax. Clutter can cause more mental stress than you know. If you're ready to make self-care a priority, type self-care in the comments below. Number six, get dressed and do your hair. I love to stay in my pajamas and robe on the weekends, but if I'm in a funk or feeling stressed, I get dressed, do my hair and my makeup. When I do this, I feel so much better. I feel more confident and I feel more put together. It's a great way to get your day started on a positive note. Number seven, have a picnic. Have a picnic in your backyard. Get all your favorite snacks, your book, your blanket, some drinks, and go sit out in the sun. Doing little things like this that make you happy can make a huge difference. Being outside and having a little picnic, it's like you're dating yourself. You're doing something for yourself and you're enjoying your time by yourself. And it, you don't have to be by yourself. You can have a picnic with the whole family, but it's still something that can bring you joy and help you de-stress. Number eight, order your dinner. I love this one so much. Order your food from your favorite restaurant and make sure they add utensils and plastic plates. If they don't have that, always have plastic plates and utensils ready and available so you don't have to wash dishes when you're done with dinner. This is a great way to give yourself a break and enjoy someone else preparing your meal for you. 
Your whole night is free now because you outsourced your help. Number nine, watch the sunset. Before you start winding down for the night, go outside, sit on your porch or your deck and watch the sunset. It's beautiful and magical. Being outside during a sunset will also help your circadian rhythm. Your body will start knowing and realizing that, oh, it's time to get ready for bed now. It's a great way to relax after a busy and crazy day. My favorite part is seeing all the beautiful different colors in the sky during a sunset. It just makes me happy. And number 10, go to bed early. Super simple, but can make such an impact. Before I go to bed early, I like to pamper myself with just a few things. You can do anything that you love. For me, I love doing a face mask, making some hot chamomile tea, reading a good book, and I love spraying lavender essential oil on my wrist and my pillow. I just feel like I'm sinking into my bed. I'm so relaxed. Your stress will melt away and you will feel like a new you in the morning. I hope this video gives you some good ideas to start implementing for your self-care. Self-care is so important, but we tend to brush it aside. As a parent and a caregiver, self-care should be a priority. Taking care of yourself, even when you're home, will make a positive impact in your family's life. If you got value from this video, please subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell notification to be reminded of when I post a new video. Until next time, bye.